The one thing we want to do on the support cable, he's absolutely right, is we want to support it as a backup in case this was to fail. So what I would suggest is you take about five feet or more and we're going to do a figure eight here. In some cases, you may have to use more than one tie back on the same support system. For example, if I'm putting an outrigger beam on here, but I only have an anchor over there, and I have an anchor over there, but I don't have any right behind me. I can tie off at that angle. That's in itself, a singular tie back is not good, right? So I also have to tie in the opposite direction to keep the beam in line, see? And then if there's two operators on there, they have their lifelines, all within a confined area of 10 feet. And like you're saying, this is stranded, so the cable wants to turn. It, and so does the rope as you're going up. Because when you're grabbing your rope, you're grabbing it, pulling it down tight so you can slide your line grab it up. And you'll find that all of a sudden things can get intertangled. So like you're saying, you should have somebody come underneath you as you're going up to make sure that nothing's tangled up. So what's